Hello everybody, this is Graham Anderson, and today I'm going to be looking at a little wordy. Now I must admit that I have not played a ton of word games, even though I do like doing word puzzles like doing crosswords. And when I saw this game and saw it was for two players only, I figured this is one I wanted to try out. Now the gameplay is very simple. Each player comes up with a word based on random tiles they draw, then each person will try and either guess the other word, or use some special clue cards on the table to get some hints from the other player. So it sounds nice and simple. So this word game be a literary award winner, or just be reshelled and forgotten about. Let's get it to the table, see how it's played, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts on a little wordy. So this is a little wordy setup. Each player gets a player screen and an erasable marker. All the berry tokens are placed in between the players, and you will randomly draw four vanilla clue cards and four spicy clue cards to be used for the game. Each player takes four vowels and seven consonants from the bags and places them behind their screens. They will then use those tokens to come up with whatever word they wish, just no proper nouns, names, places, and things like that. Once each player has come up with a word, they're going to write it down and fold up their player board. They're going to mix up their letter tokens and pass them to the other player. Then pick a start player, and on a player's turn, they will either activate one of the clue cards or guess the other player's word. To activate a clue card, you give your opponent the number of berries as listed on top of the card, and then you can perform the action on the bottom of the card. The vanilla cards tend to help you only, but the spicy cards often require the sharing of information with your opponent. If you think you know what your opponent's word is, instead of using a clue card, you can guess their word. If you are incorrect, you give your opponent two berry tokens and your turn is over, but play still continues. If you correctly guess their word, then you compare berries. If you have more berries than your opponent, and you have guessed their word correctly, then you've won the game. But if you are correct but have fewer berries than your opponent, then they get to continue to play until either they have guessed your word and have more berries than you, in which case they will win, or through their actions you end up with more berries, at which point you will win. And that's how you play. Let's get back to see what I thought about a little wordy. So the components for this game. They're really quite good. The markers have held up well and the cardboard components are nice and thick. The player screens work extremely well and I like that they kind of fold over to cover your word but still give you a place to take notes. And I'm often taking notes in this game. The art on the cards is also nice and whimsical. So on to the gameplay. As you saw from the overview, the gameplay is super simple. Make up a word, then use the clue cards to try and figure out your opponent's word. And you know what? It really works. Coming up with a word from the tiles is enjoyable, and there's maybe a bit of strategy to it too. You know, do you go for the super obvious word, thinking maybe your opponent's going to think that it's too obvious to guess? Do you go for the longest word possible? But that kind of narrows down the possibilities. Do you go for a word that is maybe of average length and try to muddy the field by having so many possibilities? And it's even enjoyable when you swap the tiles to see what words you can make with your opponent's letters. And using the clue cards is critical. You can go for the ones that give you lots of information about a word. But of course, you're giving your opponent lots of berries. So it's not necessarily how quickly you can guess the word, but you want to give your opponent as few berries as possible. Sure, I could use a card that costs four berries to maybe find out what the first letter is. But what about paying just one berry to see if the secret word is longer or shorter than the one I just made up? And I like the gameplay of trying to decide which clue card is the most useful, while of course, still being the cheapest. And the difference between the vanilla and spicy cards is fun. The spicy cards definitely give you more information for fewer berries. But you're almost always giving your opponent information as well, so it's a trade-off. Now, the game length on this one is very quick. We were usually done in under 10 minutes. But we almost wanted to start another game right away. You know, you sit down, you play it, and you're like, okay, just one more game. So, would I recommend this game? Yes, easily. I'm still really enjoying my plays of this one. Coming up with the words from the random tiles, all the while trying to maybe second guess your opponent. I think the components are very well done for such a small box, and I've had no issues with any of them so far. I like that the gameplay is nice and quick, but still drags you back to play it just one more time. I enjoyed the fact that the game felt like it leveled the playing field a bit. You know, knowing a lot of long, obscure words won't necessarily mean you will automatically win the game. It comes down to those berries and how well you use the clue cards. I like almost all the clue cards, and the cost of the berries seems right. The four berry cards definitely feel more powerful than the one berry card. My only downside to the game is minor. I do wish that there are more clue cards, especially the vanilla ones. There's only six in the box and you play with four every game, so there's not a lot of variety there. And I also recognize that these little word games may not appeal to everyone. So if you don't like word games, I don't think this one's going to change your mind. 
but I am going to give this game a 7.5 out of 10 and the Dice Tower seal of approval. It is a fun little two-player game, maybe not something I was expecting to enjoy as much as I did. The gameplay is nice and quick and simple and thoroughly enjoyable through the short gameplay. And I've almost always played multiple times in one sitting. And what more can you ask from a game that when you're finished with playing the game, you say, let's just play it one more time. And that's it for the moment. Until next time, thanks for watching.